uh, Halle Berry in Atlanta uh, when I was a kid. She was dating uh, or married to David Justice, who played for the Atlanta Braves. Mm-hmm. And she went to a event in Atlanta wearing a Naughty by Nature jacket that just said, uh, proud to be a fucking ghetto ass bitch or something like that. Oh? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you just forget sometimes. Well, that's what she said. And I remember the uproar in Atlanta in the newspaper and in the press where they were like, you don't forget something like that, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you do. Eh, you do. You do. You do. Um, remember when Melania wore that thing that just said, I don't really care. Or... And you think that was an accident? I do. Um, I do. I don't think her English is that great. Um, I think she maybe gets dressed. So whoever gave it to her knew what they were doing. Nah, maybe. Maybe. I don't even think she puts on like her shoes by herself. Do you know what I mean? <sighs> she's too hot. I think it's to. like when you're that hot, you don't have to do anything. You think she's super hot, huh? You've you've met her. I mean, it's cra- It's kind of crazy, definitely right? Stunning. She's stunning for sure. Yeah, but she's not, not my... an older white. When we had this, we had this. Uh... She's European. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. She's got she's a, like a an tan, olive, like an olive skin. She's something like an olive skin. Yeah. Whatever that is. Uh, you and I had this conversation last night um, about like uh, hotness and how long that lasts where you're just oh, like. Oh, yeah. Uh, God. How long it lasts or how Yeah, how, quickly... how long it lasts where you're just like, oh, that person's. I can't have a conversation with that person. Right. And this came up when we were watching the, the bonus episode of The Bachelor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because I have been a long, um, pilot Pete denier. I don't know why he was picked. <gasps> I hate him. No, I hate him. I always have. I have been getting texts from both friends and then messages from fans that are like, we're so sorry. Both, I'm sorry. Both friends. You may have two friends. Both from friends IRL and mm, then friends mm, on mm, mm, mm. Instagram. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. <laughs> um, that uh, they're so sorry they <laughs> doubted me. They're on my team now. Uh, one of the girls in the neighborhood, yeah, one you, of our you friends, called it from the get-go. Was like, I it. feel so stupid right now. Like, yeah. how was I so blinded by the pilot uniform? Yeah, like they were just like, I was, I was blind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Welcome. You called it. You did. You called it. Sometimes call it with people. Call it judgmental. Call it like but I, what, what you will. What once, you know, we were watching it, and I, I'm not a fan of this season, not because of Pete. I just, they, they picked the wrong batch of women. All those girls fucking suck, except for Kelly, the normal lawyer right, chick. Right, and she's going to be leaving us, which is... is that? Do you know that for a fact or no? Um, I don't, but there's no way that she can stick around. I, I hope... For her dignity, yeah. that she continues on the path that she's on, which won't be giving him enough because they need to cry. They need to like bend over backwards. They need to freak out. They need to jump up into his arms and wrap their legs around him. And she yeah. just doesn't do that shit. I, I look, I don't mind talking about this with you because after we talked about it on the last season, I had so many dudes message me and they were like, dude, I, I, I'm stuck watching this with my wife and now I'm into it. So like I'm into it. I'm fully invested and I'm here with it. This is the first time I can remember in watching all of this shit with you where, first of all, all the girls suck. You don't have a front runner. Uh, well, here's the thing. You should. If you're not a fucking idiot, like Pete's a goddamn idiot. And that's why I don't like this either. Same with Colton. Pete's an idiot. If you're looking at this season, right? Mm-hmm. The, it, it is clearly Kelly and no one else. If you're looking to get married, have a genuine relationship, have, have kids with life. somebody, yeah. have a great life with somebody who's got a great job, who doesn't want to be on camera, you can tell she really doesn't give a fuck about being famous or, or the limelight. Like she hides herself in shots mm-hmm. like a professional, where you're just like, oh shit, have you been acting for years? Because you're literally finding the angle be like- and then hiding in the background. So they, they can't catch any reactions from you. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. It's, it's brilliant. Yeah. The way she's or played cocktail this. parties. Like she just won't be anywhere. And then she'll like just show up at the rose ceremony. And you're like, were you like napping in a trailer somewhere? Like, yeah. Maybe. It's great. And, you know, I think her comments when they had that dinner, when he was just like, oh, are you going to um, are you going to open up to me? Are you going to do this? And, and she was just I think like, she like read him and he was like. He's like, oh, okay. She freaked yeah. him out. She goes, look, man. She's like, you're rewarding drama. I don't fucking like it, and I don't think you're ready. And he's like, oh, oh, oh. 
It was the, <laughs> like, and it was the honest truth. He like seized out. And yeah. she goes, she goes, look, man, I'm looking for somebody to be a power couple in this life with and get married and, and you know, two people who have great jobs and do shit together. Not fucking dote over some crying 22 year old who's a model maybe for mm-hmm. of what though? I don't like kids she's shoes. turning out to be the funniest like everything she says like the grandma thing i don't know she's great i love her she's not gonna win it's a shame so but dumb. this is the show she's great um what i will say is we did a sex episode on the broettes just kind of like questions that girls asked took questions or, took questions mm-hmm. and um kind of expanded on topics that were sent to us for drinking broettes podcast yeah and one of the things was like hey guys watch the bachelor or bachelorette yeah. with your wife. You'll probably get laid if you do. Nothing sexier. Nothing that like brings us closer. Is like, oh my gosh, like you're watching it with us? I even suggested it last night. I said, hey, there's a, there's a bonus episode of The Bachelor. You want to watch it tonight? I know. And I was like. Yeah. And I, not to get too intimate, but look. Yeah, worked out. Worked out for everyone. <laughs> Am I wrong? No, you're not. You're not. So but anyways, it's just a very, it's an easy gesture, right, guys, that like you could just try it and you might, you might be into it a little bit. You might get invested. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I Don't mean, start now. You'll hate it. But be, maybe next season. Well, I think it depends on where you're at in your life and, and like what your relationship is like in this life, right? Because I look at it where I consider myself in a great relationship and I'm happy and all that shit, right? Um, and you're also with besides me. yelling at each other at work occasionally, you know, because we work together, right? Nothing you can do about that. Sure, for real. Yeah, like, that's. I just, mean, we're not yelling at each other. Eh, honest talk. Jamie's heard it before. I don't give a shit. Um, okay. Our producer, and it's like okay. it happens. You're gonna have fights because you work together, and it's like it's tough sometimes, right? But other than that, we don't fight in real life. We don't have any other fights in in real life, pretty much, right? Yeah. Um. And when I'm watching this season and with this, that one particular girl, and I'm like, man, you dumb fuck. Do you know how easy your life would be and how great it would be if you just picked the right person? And that's the way I felt about last year, too, with that dipshit, where it was just like Colton. Hannah B, even. I was just like, what are you doing, dude? Hannah B, fuck are you doing, your Hannah favorite, B? was an indecisive, yes. blind yep. weirdo. Yeah. She's my favorite. And I think if you would have caught her... Maybe three years later. How old is she? I think you would have called her at 28. I don't know how old she is, but. I think she's, she was 23, 24 when right. she was doing it. So. I think if you would have called her at like 28. Be a different story. Yeah. Um, but, you know, that's why I hate this season where I'm, I'm watching this and I'm like, man, all the dumb shit that is going on, all the crying. You know who isn't? The one girl who's a fucking high powered attorney in Chicago. That's the other thing. I look at cities too. Right? Because I've traveled so much around the country. I look at cities of like, all right, Chicago. Come on, dude. Great town. Great fucking town. Totally. What are you You've doing? You've got to have a certain level of something. I don't know. Je ne sais quoi. Something, something, right? Yeah. You have to have a certain level of something to live and work in Chicago. That's all I'm going to say. It, in the city. A lot of these, when they, when they go to hometowns, right? When they take them back to meet their parents, and that's towards the end. For you non-bachelor watchers, they take them to back to their parents' house, and it's like, oh, uh, we're in fucking um, Sticksville, Alabama, and we're here with, you know, and I'm like, bro. And they, like, take them into the trailer, and you're like, that's going to be your Thanksgiving. Yes. I think that every time where I'm like, that's your fucking Thanksgiving, bro. So no matter how hot or you think she is and she's 22 or whatever, first of all, that's not going to last with a 22-year-old one. Two, enjoy your Thanksgiving in that double wide. You know, when you're taking a like 18 relatives are taking Bic lighters to the turkey because there is no gas left, you know, in the propane. Or they try and fry a turkey. Whatever, man. Without thawing it. It's a whole it's a whole mess the rest of your life. And I don't think you think about that at an early age. I waited until purposely waited until 30s to get married. You know, I've had this conversation before because it was, you know. Some, some hardcore bros sat me down and said, hey, man, we're older, and we're like, here's why. And they were fucking right. Because what you want at 23 or what you think is cool and is going to work is not going to work in your 30s where you're like, oh, man. 
and you look at that of like their their parents and the the whole shit and where you've got to spend holidays and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeesh, you know. Mm-hmm. So uh, that's important. And I see Peter right now, and he's fucking blowing it. He really is, but don't they always? We'll see. I just because there's one there's been one clip that they're showing over and over again, and and it's Peter crying on the bed. With a towel on his head mm-hmm. going, ah, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. I can't believe and it. And then this, uh, then the mom, a clip of his mom saying, she's crying, Peter, bring her home to us. Oh, oh, oh. That tells me. Go get our girl. Yeah, that tells me that it's definitely not Ooh. Kelly because it's like, you wouldn't do that. She wouldn't do that. She'd be like, bro, I'm right here. It, it, yeah, uh, you know? not Kelly. I, I think I would have gotten a spoiler that if it was Hannah. Um, Look, so I don't know if that's the 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 twist at the end of this that he ends up with Hannah B and that's the girl he wants her to bring back. Great, I'm all with that. And sure. then I'll enjoy. Then then this entire season wouldn't have been worth it. But the rest of these clown dicks that are on these girls, Jesus Christ. <laughs> 